Jerry, how you doing? Good work, man. Great job. Good work. Thank you. I'm Jennifer with Connecticut Magazine. Oh, Jennifer Magazine. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, he's in there. Well, the, the message is that it is clear that the Democrats cannot fix Connecticut's economy. And the voters are coming to that realization that every day that goes by, it's time to uh, turn to uh, turn to Republicans because our candidates are devoted and committed to fixing Connecticut's economy. Uh, for the record, this is not an event that is um, this is not being sponsored by the Connecticut Republican Party. It's for uh, the federal PAC, and I'm here just to lend some support. He's coming back. What do you make of the protest across the street? I think it, it's great to be in a, in a country in a where, uh, where people can express their views, like on the other side of the street, and uh, you know, certainly the First Amendment and the right to freedom of assembly and the, uh, is, is a constitutional right that should be cherished. So uh, I think it's great. And one of the comments that they're making is that the messaging of the Republican Party is often this Republican Party is separated from the conservative values that, you know, once founded this country. Do you think that's true? Is the Republican Party split? There's, there's two, we have a two-party system, and, and both parties have challenges to, to, to not be divided. Um, we feel, in the end, we will uh, come together and be united as a party um, following our state convention uh, in May and uh, leading up to uh, this epic midterm election on November 4th. Thank you. Thank you. And it will be epic and we'll be behind you. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Here's a, a, a great new uh, Republican reg registrant right here. Yep. Mr. Chris Ford. How you doing? What's going on? My brother is the alien. My father, my dad uh, was starting uh, you, you know who that point guard. Oh, yeah. the old basketball team. Very cool. Jerry Gabriel. Uh, the, 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 the young so fellow there, you know who he is? No. Richard Dimmel's uh, son. That's Ryan Stevenson. He's, he's okay. goes to Yale. He's in journalism. Oh, he's already here? Yeah. Do you have her name, actually? That's, is that Patty Longo he was talking about? Uh, that would be great if I knew her name. Uh, <laughs> Patty Longo, I'm guessing, is our national committee woman. Thank yeah. you so much. Any questions? Or I yeah, I got her earlier. I, I, I got an inter interview with her, too. <clears throat> Pot's a nice lady. Chairman! Hey! How are you? How are you? Oh, you look lovely. Thank you for coming up to the headquarters tonight. Absolutely. Mr. Levy, how are you? Sir? You were on the make, helping the party. Appreciate it. See you in there. <laughs> Republicans are strong team momentum that we will uh, all all ask all, all all those uh, within our base will come together. Uh, uh, if you re if you really look closely at what is concerned um, my friends uh, closely closely aligned with the Second Amendment movement, I think it will, it will become clear that. The gun control bill that they're most concerned with was authored by and pushed through without the need for any Republican votes by a Democrat legislation. Um,